this is a bunion before surgery this is a bunion after surgery here's what a bunion is it's a bent inner space right here not actual extra bone growth just the spreading of the two rays so there's big bunions there's little bunions there's different procedures so for a little bunion all you have to do is one procedure for a bigger bunion you have to do a little bit extra as you can imagine this probably takes a little bit longer to recover from than something like this and something like this and something where you're doing the second toe the fifth toe and the big toe all at the same time that looks pretty bad like this takes a little bit longer to recover from so here's another one you're fixing the second toe the big toe so you're doing a little bit of stuff on this one for sure so you might be wearing something protective afterwards so if it's your right foot it might be tough to drive but there's always ways we can work around that so keep in mind if you do have to work there are solutions same thing for showering afterwards you do have to keep it dry but there are solutions so we usually don't have to put on casts on people except in very rare cases so you can be walking in a boot or a surgical shoe depending on how uh, tough your bunion is almost immediately so incision can be very minimal it just comes over the big toe joint usually a couple screws in most cases and your bunion is corrected this is what it looks like one week out during a dressing change then a few weeks to a couple months out you're all healed up this is the before this is the after and this is what it looks like immediately afterwards and this is what it looks like a couple months afterwards so these are what the dressings look like that's it you can wear a surgical shoe you can keep walking your incision site heals up this is just a little bit of crust immediately after surgery and then within about 10 days for some people you can be back in a running shoes so here's the recovery process for most people you're closer to the two week window for recovery but some more aggressive ones you're in the boot for up to six weeks depending on what needs to be done driving we can work things out you, you have to talk with your podiatrist on an individual basis for this regard pain medication same thing some people only need it for a day or two some people need it for a little bit longer and you're back in shoes very quickly you're walking the entire time and keeping functional so come visit us if you want to know more but it's not as bad as some people make it out to be the success rates are amazing up in the 90 high 90s for people who said they would do it again that is very successful if this helped you at all please visit our website where you can get even more information and if this video did help uh, give it a like and a share and we'll see you soon this is michiganfootdoctors.com